Hello! Dome Tolbers. It's day one of s temporary semi bachelorhood. Uh, wife is on vacation in Cancun with her mother and uh, some of her friends. Some of her mother's friends. Um, and I'm sitting here. I don't want to say that I'm bored. I don't want to say it. Not going to happen. Not going to say it. I'm not really bored. Uh, actually, I haven't, I haven't, I've been home for a while. And I've just been uh, kind of lounging. Haven't really done anything. Uh, so I took took them to the airport, um, as noted in the last vloggery, um, which was uploaded just before this. Uh, took them to the airport this morning, and uh, on the way back, actually on the way there, I got a message um, that I wasn't going to have to be uh, back in town um, in order to go to... Uh, praise team practice this morning so I took my time and I went to um, a couple thrift stores uh, on the way back which was nice because I, I rarely get to go uh, thrifting on Saturday mornings which is the you know the only opportune time uh, to thrift be based on my job you know our jobs you know uh, most of the local thrift stores are only open uh, during the day on weekdays and on Saturday mornings um, we were typically busy. So, yeah, I got to go to stop by a couple thrift stores, and I know I just uploaded a pickup video, and uh, this isn't really meant to be like a full-fledged pickup video. This is just what I picked up this morning um, at the thrift, and it's nothing nothing spectacular. And a couple of games I did get uh, last night. Um, we kind of went on like a date night. Um, and uh, I did get um, the disc for my... Uh, Pac-Man, uh, Ghostly Adventures for the Wii U, so that was nice. I talked about that in my last pickup video. They kind of screwed me, um, and I didn't get the disc, uh, just the empty case. But they remedied that without any trouble, so now I have that game, which is nice. And then last night, uh, when I did, you know, when I went to um, pick up that disc, I did grab a couple more things. Um, while I was there on the on the extreme cheap, uh, just because I was um, in there and I was talking to uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, the people, the clerks, whatever people that work there, employees. There we go. About uh, Street Fighter, actually, he's a big Street Fighter guy, so we were talking for a while, and I I did grab um, this Wii game uh, for a dollar seventy nine disc only copy of excitebots uh trick racing um i hear good things about the excitebots games or like excite truck and uh, some of these other kind of quirky racing games on the wii so for a dollar 79 it was pretty low risk and the other thing which i hear extremely high praise of this game um com if you like uh, strategy games um I'm, i've heard that uh, this is one that you got to play and uh, it is Ghost Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars, and uh, I've heard it compared to some big guns. You know, I've heard it compared to like XCOM and and uh, Fire Emblem. So if you're fans a fan of those kind of games, like the XCOM and Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem games, and like maybe even you know some others, I hear that this is kind of an underrated uh, kind of a gem. And it's only six bucks at GameStop for a used copy. Uh, at least at mine it was. Um, so, yeah, I spent all of, like, eight bucks at uh, those two things at the GameStop. It is possible to spend low amounts of money at GameStop. I, I, that's that's proof. It is possible. Um, I'm, although I don't know for, my, for a fact myself the quality of either of those two games. But uh, back to today and the thrift finds. A uh, couple of thrift stores. Actually, the first one was um, not really a bust and it was a much larger thrift store and uh, uh, it's uh, it, I don't even know what I want to say it's 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 a big thrift store the one in my town is very small um, but I actually found more things that uh, whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> um, between two thrift stores I did pick up a few things that I'm pretty excited about first of which I, I picked this up I sent a picture of this to crack asking him if he had this because I know he's a big talking heads fan and uh, he didn't get back to me in time uh, before I was leaving so I went ahead and grabbed it for him um, but turns out he does have it 
but he insisted that I keep it for myself um, because it is a good album. It is Talking Heads Living Creatures on cassette. Um, I've actually never been that into the Talking Heads, but admittedly, I haven't I haven't listened to very much. So maybe this will be a uh, gateway for me into the Talking Heads. I don't know. There it is. Little Creatures. Talking Heads. Uh, one game I picked up there. This is actually just an expansion of a game. It um, is Half-Life Opposing Force. I think I, I think she rang up like two bucks for this, which I wasn't thrilled about. Because um, it, did, it didn't actually have a price on it. Uh, sitting on the shelf, but I figured, what the heck, two bucks, not a big deal, because this was a quarter. Um, okay, so, she rang it up two bucks, brought it home, and I threw it in, and it is truly just an expansion. You actually do have to have the uh, original Half-Life um, installed on your computer in order to play this, which is fine, because um, I'm hoping to find a PC copy of Half-Life at some point in the future anyway um, so in the meantime I have the ex uh, opposing force expansion for it and uh, this this is uh, something odd and I, I, I'm not sure if I will necessarily um, keep this or if I will give it to my nephew who's a big fan of uh, this character and it's partially it's partially done it is a pac-man activity book now this is a classic pac-man activity book i'm trying to find a uh, a year maybe 1982 okay so this is a, a 1982 uh pac-man activity book and some of the activities are done in it uh, but not all of them and i think uh what my nephew my nephew's only four yeah so he won't be uh, real big on a lot of these things, especially because a lot of them are, are uh, pretty uh, word heavy, you know, some word searches and uh, some uh, problems like that stuff. Uh, but uh, there are some, you know, some opportunities here for him to uh, maybe color, you know, color Pac-Man and stuff. Uh, he actually is in love with the Pac-Man, uh, the Ghostly Adventures TV show, um, which is actually on Netflix now, which is nice. Uh, it's kind of kind of cool that they've kind of kept uh, the Pac-Man character relevant. Uh, I know he had um, the uh, Pac-Man World games, um, you know, the, the platformers that have kind of spanned across a couple generations, like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and on handheld consoles and stuff. And uh, now, with this new generation of Pac-Man games and the new cartoon and stuff, it's really it's really kind of nice because uh, Pac-Man has always been one of my favorite uh, games, and you know, you know, kind of one of my favorite characters. So it's nice to uh, find classic stuff like this, and then also uh, be able to also buy uh, new games also, and hopefully, you know, get to enjoy this uh, with with my nephew at some point. So there is the Pac-Man activity, activity book. And then lastly here is kind of my bread and butter of the of my uh, my thrift finds this morning. As all of you know, I'm sure, I, um, I love to collect uh, VHS tapes. Uh, now, I, I am... Uh, I, I love to collect VHS tapes, but at the same time, I am... From 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 now forward, uh, I am I am going to be fairly choosy about the tapes that I pick up because I just don't I don't want just just any old cassette. You know, I I do have quite a few on a shelf back here that uh, I don't necessarily regret buying, but I probably won't ever watch. And uh, yeah, I just want to get rid of them. But uh, I do have you know quite a collection of ones that I do enjoy. And I'm glad that I own. Um, but uh, that said, uh, I did add five more to the uh, collection this morning. One of which is actually a repurchase. And uh, I'll go ahead and start with that one. It is my favorite movie of all time. It is Robin Hood, The Prince of Thieves. Um, starring the one and only 
the amazing Kevin Costner. Now, this... I owned this movie forever. This VHS copy of this movie. And I have since upgraded to a DVD copy. It is like the collector's edition. You know, it's like a, it's like a nice special edition package with some special features and things. And I love owning that. But I am mad as hell that I can't find my original copy of the VHS tape. So I went ahead and picked up another one because, you know... Places, most places sell VHS for pretty cheap, and these were a quarter each. And uh, I was very happy to to take this off their hands um, to kind of replace mine. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really I'm actually bummed that I can't find my original. Uh, but oh well, I have this one now. This one, uh, I <laughs> I remember reading this book in school. And I liked the book, and but I don't. I know we watched the movie in class, um, but I don't remember it. I don't. I don't remember it at all. I remember the story. I remember the book, but I don't remember watching this. But it is To Kill a Mockingbird, and it is still sealed, which is pretty cool. Got a hole in it, but I mean, I'm not gonna leave it sealed. There's, you know, VHS tape, uh, sealed VHS tape is worth, you know, like just as much as an open one. It's not really worth anything, but uh, it's nice to know that it's sealed because I know that it will most likely work. Uh, that's the problem with sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I, I will get tapes. I have gotten tapes that um, are just in such bad shape, like you play it once and it's like so bad like just the tape is just destroyed like it just the machine just eats it because like it's so brittle and crumples up really easily for some reason like it just sucks but most of the time if you've got a brand new uh copy of something it's gonna work and it's not gonna cause you any problems it's gonna work no matter what next up uh the abyss uh, this is a cool movie. I, re I remember watching this as a kid, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. Um, they're on a submarine. And they encounter some weirdness underneath, like some sci-fi weirdness uh, underneath. It's got the, what's his name? It's a James Cameron movie, if that gives you any indicator of what kind of movie it's going to be. What is it? Ed Harris, that's his name. Uh, Ed Harris is the main character, so it's it's pretty cool. It's almost like a, it feels like a spacey type movie, but they're underwater. So that's it's it's a pretty good movie. I like it a lot, and uh, glad to have a VHS copy of it. I don't think I had that movie already. I'll feel stupid if I did already have it. Uh, this is a guilty pleasure one right here. Uh, <laughs> I I haven't read into like like critic you know what critics or anybody says about this movie and I don't actually know that many people who uh, I've talked to about this movie and I I don't know what the uh, the public opinion of this movie is but I'll call it a guilty pleasure because it, it's pretty pretty corny pretty cheesy but uh, I loved it a lot that is Dragonheart uh, starring the one and only uh, Pierce Brosnan and Sean Connery as uh, Draco the dragon I really liked this movie um, yeah I mean I, I not much more can be said uh, Pierce Brosnan feels a little bit weird as the main character I mean it's it's a little bit weird to see him play this kind of medieval knight kind of guy uh, but uh, on the same hand uh, Sean Connery does a marvelous job as uh, voicing the uh, big majestic dragon guy. I think that's pretty cool. I like this movie. Last, but certainly not least, when I saw this movie, this was actually at my local thrift, this one here, which I was shocked about. This one is one that I've been... Uh, I, I, I have it... The Blu-ray is actually on my Amazon wish list. Uh... So I remember, remember, remember that I want to buy it. Like that's kind of the reason behind my Amazon wish list, so I don't forget things uh, that I want to buy. Um, this is something that I'm shocked to have found in my uh, local thrift, but it's not like it's not uncommon or anything. It's just I was just surprised to find it, and uh, very 
very happy. This this will probably get watched uh, this week um, while I am a bachelor, and that is Manhunter. The Hannibal Lecter's Legacy of Evil begins here. Um, this movie is based on the book Red Dragon, um, but it but it but it predates even Silence of the Lambs. This movie came out in 1986. It predates Silence of the Lambs. So when they made this movie, based on the first book, I don't know. I don't know how many of the the rest of the series of books had been out at that point. I I don't know. I know that uh, they're they're modern, you know, modern day books. Uh, you know, 80s and I. They were kind of being written as the movies were being put out. Um, so I don't even know if Silence of the Lambs as as a book was even out when this movie was made. And I don't know why they called it Manhunter and not just Red Dragon. I don't know. But they kind of... I didn't see it. Entertainment Weekly says superior to Silence of the Lambs. Um, they rebooted the series pretty much uh, when they made Silence of the Lambs. Even though it's based on Silence of the Lambs, the book, which is a sequel to uh, Red Dragon... I don't think Silence of the Lambs, the movie, is a se- supposed was, was supposed to have been a sequel to this. It is, you know, timeline-wise, book-wise, it is a sequel, but it wasn't meant to be like they they didn't they didn't. I don't think they made that movie with this movie in mind. Um, that said, of course, they made Silence of the Lambs and then Hannibal, and then they came back and made Red Dragon, which is the same story as this movie, but. I don't know if this movie's any good or not. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I actually have it downloaded on my computer because I had intentions of watching it and also buying the Blu-ray, which I still intend on buying the Blu-ray. But I am just stoked as everything or as anything to find the VHS copy of Manhunter. Very excited. I actually have Silence of the Lambs on VHS 2, which I am uh, proud to have. And I would also like to get um, the other two if they came out on VHS. I'm not sure they did. Um, I I think they did though. At least Hannibal. I think Han. I think VHS was still a thing when Hannibal came out. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I am. I'm I'm stoked to find this. I'm very very happy to find Manhunter. Um, so if you're interested in the Hannibal Lecter series, um, and you're anything like me, uh, I was actually surprised to find out this movie even existed. Um. Uh, it, I went a lot of years uh, being a fan of the series and not knowing that Manhunter existed, uh, which you know, ignorance. I I, I can't can't help it. But uh, now that I know, I'm excited to see it. And it's got uh, some some famous faces in it, um, whose names I I never remember their names. Like the actors' names, uh, Dennis Farina, I think is his name is. Uh, He's famous for a lot of things. It's this dude here, I don't know how well you can see that. He's always he's always he always plays that one guy. He plays um, the can't remember his name in the movie either. Plays like the 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 boss, like the police chief, and um, this guy, whose old name I also can't, William Peterson. This guy. Um, played um grissom in the original csi he's been in movies and stuff too but that's what that's like for me that's his like claim to fame that's what i know him from he was in grissom in the original csi Um, he plays will graham so kind of fitting and uh this guy who i'm not familiar with but i don't know if anybody else is but that's hannibal lecter uh in the movie i believe looks like it would be Anyway, I'm rambling on now. This movie is now... movie. This movie! This movie is now 20 minutes! Uh, 19 minutes into this, and it was not meant to be this long. But I've rambled on about VHS. And someday, somehow, I probably will do a VHS collection video. I don't know if anyone will be interested in watching it, uh, but I am interested in making it. So, if you're even remotely interested in seeing a VHS collection a la Doomwaves... Be sure to please leave me a comment. If not, I'll probably still make it anyway, but I would like to know anyway. So, 
I want to thank you all for watching. Doom Waves out.